Good day everyone, so we're rewinding the clock a bit and we're going to react to Kokomi's character trailer. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Obviously since I'm going to react to this, we're going to be stop, start, stop, start, stop, start all the way. Uh, and there's a couple of things that I'll just sort of point out that I find interesting. And of course, um, the one, a couple of things that I will point out is my wish list for Kokomi and the types of content that I actually want Hoyaverse to add for us that's related to her. Uh, so hopefully you guys will find this interesting. And yeah, we are looking at the Japanese trailer. Uh, I can't do full screen because NVIDIA for some reason does not want to record the full screen version. Uh, so we'll just sort of look at it as it is here. Without any delay, let's get into it. Right, so here's where, where I find it absolutely gorgeous. Kokomi is essentially like sitting in a fetal position here in the deep in the depths of the ocean. You can see here is, you've got like the, the light right at the top and it's just like really, really deep uh, underneath her. And this is so really well done because what they've done is they've zoomed in on the pupil of her eye right here, which is very reflective of that deepness in the ocean. If you've ever looked at the pupils, you can see you can't really look into them straight away. There's always like, it, 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 it seems like her eyes are like blank. It's almost like dead, but that's not actually what they are. They're, they're supposed to be reflective of the vastness of the ocean, which I think is a really cool design feature. So right here is something that I want to point out. You can see a Kokomi jets up like to the uh, to the surface, and this is on my wish list for Kokomi. I want Hoyaverse to create an underwater cavern for us to explore. So basically the idea would be either next to Watatsumi Island or I think ideally um, near the Golden Archipelago, create an area for us that's like very deep under sea that you can explore. It's almost like Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, if you guys are familiar with it, where you can almost like um, surf on the, on the top of the ocean and then there are designated areas where you can actually dive down. And I think this would be a really, really cool feature and mechanic if they add it. Uh, so basically you go to a designated area, you then um, sort of dive down and then your character becomes Kokomi by default. So you get a new health bar, a separate stamina system, and then basically a couple of new like abilities. So the one could be like, um, so tied to your stamina bar, you could jet around the water like very, very freely. Another one could be like a normal attacks would work as they are. You get like these small fishes that home in on enemies. Um, her E ability could perhaps be like a, a couple of jellyfish, like a small a ring of small jellyfish that sort of surround Kokomi, almost like little torpedoes and then they like fire like um, towards the enemy and then like her elemental burst could like put her in her elemental burst state but then when she fires a couple of fishes they're like these big fishes that just do, do like a, an AOE explosion underneath like it's like something like that I mean Hoyaverse is creative enough um, but that's what I'd like to see the ability to freely explore underwater do something with like the marine environment and I think it could fit Kokomi really really well and if, if they implemented something like this with Golden archipelago in the summer uh, during the summer times for those of you in the northern hemisphere i think it could be an absolute winner this is the type of content that i want to see with kokomi i think it will just give us something extra to do it's like a new chasm but just in the ocean um it's uh, it will be very very exciting <laughs> Obviously, the beautiful splash art, the floatiness, uh, the, you can see the beautiful little starfish here. And then, of course, Kokomi, the heart of the ocean. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. This is like really, really, really well done. And you can almost see here as well, like the, the ocean, still that sense of the ocean deep in the background. If you just look here at the background, how like the waves of airy gently like go. Oh, 
Coco me again, I think, being one of the most fluid um, and smoothest characters in the game when it comes to her animations. I, I really, really like it. Um, obviously, we've played a ton of Coco me, so it's not really anything new for me to say other than I think it's one of the best in the game. So this picture here I think is absolutely gorgeous and it is, if you guys recall, um, the, the picture that I used as the basis uh, for a commission on Kokomi. So you can see here the uh, meteorites falling, Kokomi standing on the surface of the ocean and she's looking absolutely gorgeous. Uh, what I loved about what the artist did here is he gave Kokomi very wild hair. So I think this aesthetic suits her really, really well. Uh, here you can see everything is very tidied up like in a standard um, form and so on. But just a bit of wildness onto Kokomi makes her look really really sexy if i'm if i'm honest uh, i love the fact here also that what the artist did is you can see here she it's all about the floatiness the the very lightness of it which is cool and yeah i remember when i put this picture up um on my community tab everyone was just like oh my god is kokomi fat is, is kokomi pregnant and i was just like no it's like don't you guys appreciate proper female aesthetics? You know, are we really playing spot the virgin in the comment section? Um, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. So uh, in my opinion, the artist did such a good job and it really, really encapsulates this scene, which I think is like one of the most beautiful scenes uh, in the entire trailer. But yeah, this is the full version or the full length version for those of you guys that have, haven't seen the full length version or haven't seen this. Um, I like it really, really. Uh, it, I think it's really awesome. So I think a lot of people would say, well, Kokomi is standing here and she's looking at the starry skies, but I think this is more in, um, reflective of her internal state of mind. Uh, this isn't something, if you look at the background and so on, uh, it doesn't seem like she's actually in the ocean. It's almost like she's gathering all those feelings, like she says here in the trailer, you know, um, her people always looked up at the stars and there was a sense of wonder and amazement and it actually like fills her up and this is what sort of leads her to eventually uh, well as the trailer and so on goes on uh, to get into her elemental burst state which is really really cool <laughs> Why can't my Kokomi do this? I want to do this. I want to play um, slime ball volleyball. <laughs> um, I want to play, I want to do this with Kokomi. I think this is also a very, very cool thing uh, that you could add, let's say, to the Golden Archipelago. Uh, some sort of variation where characters like Kokomi uh, can do some interesting aerial movements, like while hitting a volleyball like over the net and so on. It could be a fun PvP-like sort of game, but I mean... Obviously, Hoyaverse won't listen to their paying customers, so we'll, it can only, it'll only be a dream. Right, this is the scene. This is the, this is the entire picture that's almost representative of her constellations. The sleeping dragoness. I think you get a very, very good sense of that right here, that there's something more hidden to Kokomi. Uh, but I do like the fact that she's like almost like really deep in the depths here. Um, and she's the very thing that worries her is not herself, but um, her people and so on, which I think is really, really awesome. As a character, you know, uh, her priority is Watatsumi Island. It's not herself, which is really, really cool. I, I really do adore that about her. Again, that theme of Kokomi um, in the depths, and you can see them um, sort of focusing again in on her pupil, the pupil of her eye, um, giving you that theme and that contrast, which is really, really nice. But yeah, guys, that is it. That has been it for this Kokomi um, reaction trailer. Some of the items that I wish Kokomi had. Uh, I do think she's an absolutely gorgeous character. 
and yeah there's it's been such it's been absolutely awesome playing with her these couple of months um understanding how she worked and how everyone got her wrong and still to today still don't understand how how awesome she is as a defensive character uh, the only last thing that i will say is is that i've been re-watching the archon quest um because I always record all of these things. And one of the things that I noticed is that during the Archon quest and the wars and the battles, um, it almost seems like um, Kokomi was the one attending to the wounded soldiers on Watatsumi Island. Uh, this is the one thing that um, a lot of people don't really mention. But as a general, you don't want your strategist to be in the middle of the war in front there with Goro. Uh, she's the one that's actually at the back controlling, commanding, and sort of um, playing a bit more of a passive role. It's in very much in the same vein um, as Ayato, which sort of pulled a lot of strings in the background, as we saw uh, with his story quest, to make certain things work in the favor of the traveler, um, to sneak the guys from Watsutsumi, um, to sort of um, near to attack the Shogun, and all of those sorts of things. Um, do I want more Kokomi content? Yes. And when do I want it? I want it yesterday, but hopefully we'll get more in the future. Thanks for watching. Cheers.